एंड वेलकम एवरीबॉडी दिस इज अमित कुमार एंड यू आर वाचिंग ट्विन्स टेक सॉल्यूशंस टुडे टॉपिक इज हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डायनामिक अप एंड डाउन आरोस इन अ टैब्लू केपीआई सो बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ स्कोर कार्ड और आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ टेबल वेयर अगेंस्ट अ पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू और अ मेजर आई विल शो एन इंडिकेटेड दैट इफ द मेजर इज इंक्रीजिंग then the r direction will be up if the measure is decreasing on the next day the direction will be down so just like a stock market so i have prepared a test data for this analysis where i have list of the dates and these are the stock names and the stock price so sometimes the stock is this much 1200 and on the next day the stock price is increasing again it's decreasing again it's increasing and i have to give an indicated that if the stock price is increasing then the arrow will be showing in towards up and if it is decreasing the arrow direction will be towards down and accordingly the down arrow will be in the red color and up arrow will be in the green color so which will be more intuitive to make analysis so let's try this with an example i'll just create a clipboard data set i'll copy this one and in the tableau i'll simply paste this one to use it now once i paste it this will be taken in the tableau itself it will be considered as a clipboard data set so my data is going to be ready all right so the data has been prepared as you can see i have list of the dates and stocks and stock price so what i can do over here i want to show the indicators in form of a up and down arrow in this chart so the table which has been used over here is a this one is a table box now I'll take it here, and instead of states, I'll take it to I'll show a exact date. All right, so it's a discrete. Okay, fine. So in this way, my data should be shown. Okay. so as you can see the day 1 is uh, this much 1200 and then in the day 2 it is increasing so i need to show the indicator how it could be possible this can be possible if i can create a calculated field this can be achieved by creating a calculated field so let us try this one i'm going to create a calculated field put analysis create a calculated field how i can get the differences okay there is differences so my formula should get the difference from the first day to second day okay in the second day if it is getting that it is increasing then it should show the up arrow if it will say that it is decreasing that means in a negative figure it should show down arrow so i can give this so uh, you know calculated field name as day wise different okay fine so there is a method in tableau which is called as lookup okay in the lookup uh, method i can use this attribute as sum of stock price all right stock price and offset would be minus 1 this will give an indication that suppose i am here in the second line so through this formula through this uh, calculated field i can get the data of the first line you know first row 
So minus one means it will always consider the one row before the current row. Okay. Now I need to create a differences. Suppose this is the first row minus second row. So let's say the first row is this one and second row is this one. Okay. So I need to get the differences. If 1200 is greater than 1300, then it will come out with the positive figure. If it is less than 1300, it will come out with the negative figure, right? So accordingly, my condition will be defined over here. So how I can get a data of a sing same row and how I can get the difference this way, like this is the, this method will consider let's say this one and this method will consider the second one if i give the offset as zero if i my compiler is in the second line then it will bring the data of the current row okay now my compiler is running from the top to bottom and in the second line it will bring the first cell value and it will subtract the second cell value and if it is found to be less than zero that means if it is negative okay so i have to give a if else condition over here if look of this one is less than zero then I can just give it as if it is less than zero that means it's a negative figure so it should be down all right and if it is a positive figure else then it should be up and end of this if else condition now let us understand the syntax what it says what I have written and what this syntax is all about it will say suppose the first line value say if it is 1200 minus 1300 obviously it will be a negative figure if it is a negative figure if it is found to be less than 0 that means this is lesser than this okay so in that case the stop value will give an indication that it is down the arrow direction will be towards down else if it is greater than 0 that means it's a positive value in that case it should be up all right so this day wise difference calculated field will give two output one is down another is up okay so let's see now I simply has to take care of this I don't need to add this uh, over here if you want to add it let's see how it looks like okay all right so here you see here um, from 1200 to 1300 it is down from 1300 to 1250 uh, it's uh, okay let me just add this to here the device differences I'll just add it to Save. I have to add a save over here. Okay. Dave is difference. I'll add the save. And I'm getting this output as up and down. Okay. So I have to simply click the save. And let's say arrow down is this one and up is this one. Green. Alright. That's fine. Now let's just drag a little bit or stretch a little bit and to check the condition here okay great so now this is working fine 
as you can see here this is the indicator I have this is uh, stock this is a stock value I'm showing over here another stock value as you can see first day was 1200 and in the second day it is become 1300 that means it is an increasing trend and the next day it is reduced or lesser by 50 so it is the indicator showing us the rate and what down again it is increasing in the fourth day which is 1400 increasing increasing so it's all showing as towards up and again when it is decreasing it's showing this much and all are decreasing figures so that's where it's showing red so this iconic indication is giving us a better intuition to understand this chart okay so let us understand the formula once again before we wrap up it now you see this is the first day value let's say first day value is 1500 and the second day value let's say it is a 1400 and the outcome would be first day value minus second day value will be 100 that means greater than 0 ok that means the first day value is bigger and the second day value is lesser right that means the trend is down that means it's a loss ok else if it is negative then it will be up that means if the first day value was less and second day value is bigger and the outcome is coming in form of negative in that case the value is off earlier so let's say the first day is 1400 and then and in the second day is 1500 then 1400 minus 1500 will be definitely in a negative figure so the trend i can say it is in up okay or a rising direction all right so this is how it works I hope you like this video if you have liked this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to stay connected with me thanks for watching see you again in the next video till then bye bye